Connecticut. Mr. Larson for five minutes. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. Mr. Speaker, I rise today to talk about the poly crisis, the new term of art that people are using to describe what has happened globally in terms of a global pandemic, followed by global supply chain issues, followed by global inflation, and underscored by the war in Ukraine. That has created incredible havoc here in this country. And of course, the group that is impacted the most are people over the age of 65. Here in the United States, with slightly over a million people who have succumbed to the pandemic, 850,000 plus have been over the age of 65. The same group, Mr. Speaker, is impacted by inflation. Inflation hurts people on fixed income the most. That are pe those are people on Social Security, who are Social Security recipients. And here in this chamber, we play games. We're in the midst of signing a discharge petition to make sure that we lift the debt limit. Mr. Speaker, we did that three times under the Trump administration without angst or fanfare. And yet here, for the group that is most impacted by this poly crisis, this global crisis, this is as though where China and Russia are looking on and cheering this side of the aisle for their efforts to default on the full faith and credit of the United States government. And who will that hurt the most again? That will hurt people over the age of 65 and people that are on Social Security and Medicare and veterans who won't be able to get their checks. And why? To make a political point? This is the United States of America. We need to stand up and do the right thing for the American people. And that starts with taking care of our own. It's been more than 52 years since Congress has enhanced Social Security. And this pandemic and this ensuing inflation have hurt this group the most. There are more than five million of our fellow Americans who get below poverty level checks from their government for Social Security, something they paid into all of their lives. And contrary to the belief on the other side, this is not an entitlement. This is an earned benefit. This is what people have paid for. 10,000 baby boomers a day become eligible for Social Security, and Congress twiddles and diddles here. We need to pass an enhanced Social Security bill now. As Martin Luther King said, it's the fierce urgency of now. These people need this relief today. This is not the time for political gamemanship. Now is the time to act. I implore my colleagues on the, old, on the other side, don't be frozen in the ice of your own indifference towards the people of this nation who need this help and relief and need it now. Let's come together as a body and do what President Reagan did and do what President Eisenhower did and do what President Nixon did and come together and enhance Social Security on behalf of the citizens of this country. And with that, Mr. Chairman, I yield back my time. The chair recognizes